Hello everyone, thank you for having us in this online conference. My name is Liu Mengdi and my co-author is Liu Ziqi. We are graduate students from De La Salle University, Manila, Philippines. Today we are going to present our research paper. The title is The Motivation for Learning Mandarin in Filipino Adults Aged 18 to 60 at Confucius Institute in Makati. This presentation will be performed by us together, and we will follow these contents. Let's start with the argument of the study. Motivation as one of the main emotional variables is widely recognized to have an important impact on language learning. Previous studies indicated that motivation is influenced by many factors, including culture, age, gender, loss of learning, and many other determiners. During the time we studied in the Philippines, uh, we noticed that there are many Confucian, is Confucius institutes in Manila, Philippines, and the number of Chinese language learning institutions is also growing, which means Mandarin right now is a relatively important language that gets attention from Filipino. However, based on the literature review related to language learning motivation, we noticed that there were relatively few studies on Mandarin and in the Philippines context. Most previous studies mean, uh, pay attention to English language learning motivation. And we also noticed that the studies mainly focus on learners in school rather than adults in training institutions. Meanwhile, uh, there were few research questions pay attention to the relationship between motivation and the loss of learning Mandarin. Accordingly, this study is going to answer the following questions. The first one is, what are the motivational factors of Filipino adults to learn Mandarin? And second one, which type of motivation is or are the major motivation of Philippine adults toward learning Mandarin? And third, what is the relationship between motivation and the loss of learning Mandarin? Let's move to the essential theories. Gardner and Lambert, 1959, first proposed two motivational orientations. One was in integrative motivation, which refers to the language learners motivated by the culture of target language. It includes the cognition of emotion toward, towards the target culture group, attitudes towards the language community, and interest or desire for social interactions with the target language community. The other one is instrumental motivation. It says learners are motivated by driving some specific benefits from learning a language, such as career opportunity or uh, academic opportunity. Along with the development of motivation theories, Dong Yen and Otto, 1998, extended Gardner's theoretical framework on motivational orientations. They defined three levels of motivation. The first one is the language level, which refers to the positive or negative attitude towards the target language, including the culture it conveys and communities that use it. Second one is the learner level, that is the influence of emotional or uh, cognitive factors on personality traits, such as the needs for uh, self-confidence or achievement. Third one is the learning in situational situation level, which point to the intrinsic and extrinsic motivations associated with the context of a particular course, teacher, or peer uh, group. Based on the motivation theoretical framework mentioned above, when investigated the motivation of learning Mandarin and adjusted the influencing factors of motivation according to the actual situation. She proposed, she proposed six 
uh, influencing factors. The first one is positive learning attitudes and experiences. Second, instrumentality. Third, interest in current culture. Fourth, intended strategic efforts. Five, uh, social milieu. And six, language requirement. This study adopted the arrivals proposed by Wen due to we have the same subject, which is Mandarin learner. Learning motivation is one of the crucial factors for learner to learn the and master a language. Explore the motivation of learning Mandarin will undoubtedly uh, prom promote the learning process and improve the learning effect. Therefore, we suppose this uh, research could help Chinese teachers to have a more uh, comprehensive and specific understanding of the studies they teach, carry out Mandarin teaching activities in the aforementioned institutes in a more targeted way, and maximize the uh, enthusiasm of students learning Mandarin with the research results, so as to successfully complete, it, complete the teaching task. As for the uh, Confucius Institutes, uh, we're supposed to uh, help for administration to development, uh, develop uh, man management strategies in line with local conditions based on the actual needs of students so as to improve the management level and the promotion effect of Mandarin. And for the academic field, uh, this study may fill the research defects and prom promote the further development of the studies on Mandarin learning motivation. My partner will continue the following section of this presentation. Next, I will introduce the methodology of the current study. This research was to investigate different motivational orientations that influenced Mandarin learners in the Philippine context and which motivational orientation influenced the most. It also examined the relationship between the length of Mandarin learning and the motivational factors. As for the participant of the current study, 21 Filipino idols who had enrolled in the Confucius Institute at the Ateneo de Manila University to study Mandarin attend the current study. The ages were between 18 to 60 years old. Among the participants, 13 of them were females and eight of them were males. All of the participants were at the primary Mandarin level, but the content of Mandarin they learned and the amount of time they spent learning Mandarin were different. Seven were at the beginning of learning Mandarin, meaning that this was the first time the exposure to Mandarin. In the current study, they were set as group cycle one. Ten had more knowledge of Mandarin. They already had the experience of learning Mandarin about 30 hours. In the current study, they were set as group cycle two. Four were more advanced who had taken 60 hours of Mandarin class. In the current study, they were set as group cycle three. As for instruments, a two section questionnaire was used as the instrument in this study including the survey to determine the motivation on learning Mandarin, which was adopted by Wen in 2011, and the background questionnaire. The first section was made up of questions about participants' personal information, and the second section consisted of 29 self-check items, which were randomly arranged items measuring motivation to learn Mandarin and rated by using a seven point Likert scale. And the last five items on learning strategies for engaging in learning language were adopted from the AMTB, Attitude Motivation Test Battery, created by Gardner in 1985 by using a five point scale. 
by using Chromebox Alpha, 29 items were retained and the internal consistency reliability of this scale was 0.87. And the calculation of this scale was to add up each number of items. And these are the pictures of the questionnaire we used in the current study. As for data analysis, the descriptive analysis was used to analyze the collected data. The answer of each item in the survey was subjected to data analysis by using SPSS20. Exploratory factor analysis was used to identify different motivational factors in the current research. And factors discovered from factor analysis was used to determine which motivation played the most important role in Mandarin learning among Filipino adult students, where the calculation and comparison of means and standard deviation of the collected data. Then the independent t-test was adopted to examine the relationship between the length of learning Mandarin of Filipino adult students and their motivation to learn Mandarin. Next part is about the salient results and conclusions. The results of the factor analysis indicated that six motivational factors that drove Filipino adult students to learn Mandarin at the Confucius Institute. They were the first, instrumentality, the second, positive learning attitudes and experiences, the third, social medium, the fourth, interest in current culture, the fifth, language requirement, and the last, intended strategic efforts. And table one showed the result of the second research question, which type of motivation is or are the major motivation of Filipino idols towards learning Mandarin. Among the six factors, two factors had a powerful impact on Filipino idols learning Mandarin at the Confucius Institute. The first motivational factor was positive learning attitude and experiences. According to Wen 2011, in the informal education context, positive learning attitudes are very crucial. This result indicated that foreign language learners regard language tasks as a pleasure and set their own learning goals, which are conducive to learners to acquire a foreign language. The second was instrumentality which was proved to be an important factor in other studies. This result indicated that students learn Mandarin not only because it is helpful for their job, but also because of the development of the world economy and the attraction of China. Table two showed the overall correspondence between the degree of motivation and the length of learning Mandarin and the corresponding relationship between the three periods and six factors were shown in table three. These results indicated that all of the participants showed a high degree of motivation, while the highest level of participants showed the highest motivation degree, but the students of middle level showed the lowest degree. This indicated that the intensity of motivation for Filipino adult students learning Mandarin at the Confucius Institute would not grow over time. And next part is the recommendation from the current study. According to the results of this study, some suggestions were given to cultivating the motivation of Filipino adult students at the Confucius Institute to learn Mandarin. The first, establishing a harmonious relationship between teachers and students, following student-centered principles. Chinese volunteer teachers 
should stimulate and cultivate students' motivation to the greatest extent. As learning Mandarin is not an easy thing, many students give up learning Mandarin after they failed to engage in language achievement. Second, selecting Chinese learning materials that are suitable for students' language and culture background. And the teaching materials must be pragmatical, interesting, and scientific. The last, the Chinese volunteer teachers should create a harmonious learning environment. As the finding of this study, positive learning attitudes and experiences were the most crucial factor among the others. A positive learning environment is benefit for students to acquire a foreign language. And next are the references we used in the current study. And that's all of our presentation and thank you very much for your attention.